The Man Who Laughs is an 1869 Victor Hugo novel, later turned into several film adaptations, most notably in 1928 by German Expressionist director Paul Lenny. It's about a wolf named Homo. There's also a minor subplot about a love triangle between three humans. One is a rich socialite, one is a blinded orphan. They're both vying for the affections of a man who is wounded as a child by a cult-like ring of kidnappers who disfigure children as they're growing up so their bodies grow into unnatural shapes so that they can serve as buskers and acrobats and circus freaks. The Joker trailer's so good, I want to marry it. Oh my gosh, I could die. Yo, Snaggers, what up? Pretzels here. Um, actually, I did have a dream last night as of when I wrote this video a couple nights ago as of when I'm recording it, um, where I was going to marry this woman and I realized that I didn't know a thing about her and, you know, the thing I, about her I did know was that we both had the fondness for the same number. 16, I think it was. 16. Anyways, we're talking about the Joker trailer. <laughs> I really can't explain it. Everything's just so good. The lighting, the color grading, the costuming, the tiles on the floor, the acting, this acting, especially this editing of this acting. This is a three-stage smile here. Right at first, you know, it's, it's genuine. It's a genuine smile. It's slight. It's genuine. Then he expands it so that Dr. Kane can see it. And it just, just in the very last, basically on the last frame, um, is is when it crosses over into a fake smile territory, and and that's that's where it gets creepy, you know. Just enough to make you see it, but not enough to be able to articulate anything but the feeling of it. Obviously, Joaquin Phoenix's face continued existing past that, uh, but the knowledge and expertise of exactly where to cut away from that is is brilliant. Okay. I'm an absolute sucker for the cinegraphic texture of urban landscapes. But even aside from that, holy crap, these shots are gorge. This, oh my gosh, the dimensionality with the foreground elements extending to pull you in. I've got no idea how they lit this. Where did they set up the light so that it, that it's just coming at you? Ah! Ah, this shot is beautiful. That shadow thing is, is a degree of stylization you don't see much of anymore, but and it always sort of calls attention to yourself, but I love it every time it shows up. Uh, the switch in lighting here, that's actually totally motivated. Um, if you look, there seems to be a searchlight or something shining there, in a way. Charlie Chaplin as Adolf Hitler. Why was I dressed as Hitler? Especially with that big Third Reich-esque banner with his face on it in front of a neoclassical building. Though, of course, the fascists didn't really go for the ostentation of the Corinthian capitals. I spent way too much time doing the research on that. I know as well that the Joker obviously hates fascism. But Charlie Chaplin thing can't be coincidental. Right? Why was he dressed as Hitler? Horsey! Wait, the fact the camera isn't moving up is the ground... This looks just like Heath Ledger. This looks just like Cesar Romero. This looks just like Ronald McDonald. If you had told me a couple months ago this were Jared Leto, I would have believed it. Uh, if you told me now that this last wasn't Mark Hamill, I would I would disprove it. Also, this this shot it looks like the Platonic idea of the Joker. The woodblock typography is just so perfect. Typographic selection is a nuanced art, dealing with not only the feeling of a particular typeface, but also taking into account its historical usage. This woodblock typography is bold, it's, it's slightly grungy. It evokes German expressionism, it evokes Dadaism, both are perfect for the Joker. Not to mention carnival posters, of course. I can't find whence, but it definitely looks sourced from something. They only had access to one C, one F, one R. All three of their T's look unique. Uh, it is one of the most common letters, but they only had one R to work with, only had two E's. 
S only gets used once in, in the phrase this fall, so you can't tell how many S's they had to work with, but get this. They had only two O's to work with, but the only time we see this absolute beauty is it's it's tiny and in the word October. Even the hero O in the word Joker is reused from the word on. I guess the big O showcase needed to be cleaner than the one with that little donut there. So this trailer has 88 shots, an average shot length of 34 frames long, the shortest being 11 frames, the longest being 130 frames, 120 frames if you count that one as, as two shots. Uh, things can go by pretty fast, you know, 34 frames long, average shot length, but your eye never gets lost watching this trailer. Either the cut is to a shot where the primary area of interest is in the same area of the screen as the last, or it gives your eyes uh, time to adapt. It's one of the longer shots. You know, well-composed shots really help this out. It's one of those things that's a lot harder to pull off than it sounds. There's a lot of forethought required. Um, you know, you have to calibrate exact the, the shot order. That has to be planned out beforehand in order to make that all work. And um... Seriously, mathematically calibrated every single shot. It's a big hand. Calculate it all by hand. I love the corny little jokes that uh, Fleck wrote. The worst part about having to live with a mental illness is people expect you to behave as if you don't. It's a true story. It's true and sobering and not at all a joke. Let x equal the quantity of all quantities of x. Let x equal the cold. It is cold in December. I love I love the colors in this shot. Call its attention to itself, especially in contrast to the muted yellows of the previous shot in the trailer. But who cares? Man, awesome colors, just these guys. If you if you look them up, there's actually the names of miscellaneous crew members who worked on. The... Heck, that's 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 probably been pointed out by the Easter egg people already. I deliberately didn't watch any of that stuff in preparation for this video, but now I'm thinking that may have been a mistake. <laughs> 